Greetings everyone, welcome back to Audit Rewind. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on today's video before we get started. This is a reaction show where I rewind my favorite and best audit moments that I have found on YouTube from all the auditors across the world. Majority coming from the United States, some from Canada and a couple from the UK. Today we're starting with a auditor called We The Bosses. Now I'll leave a link down below to this guy's channel. We have a very interesting interaction of him by a police department in the parking lot. Now the officers here come out and say that he is on private property, which is rather interesting. I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, they say he's on private property and that he can't be filming even if it's publicly accessible, which wouldn't even make sense anyway. And he's exercising his first amendment right, freedom of press. So let's see what goes down here and uh, how these officers react to being filmed. What's up, bud? Hey, how's, how's it going? How are you? Good. May I have your name? Sergeant Masters, right here. Like, What's your badge right number? It's right here on my shirt. I, I can't. Can you oh, 2435? You got it. Thank you. So what do we what do we need today? Uh, nothing much. Just um, uh, gathering content for a story. That's for all. Story? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I, I don't have any ill intent or... Well, I'm you know, sure. I yeah. understand that. Yeah. I mean, he thinks this is a private property. This is private property. How is correct. How is it private property? Because this is a police station. This is, this is a private lot. How is it a private lot? The, the uh, police station is a public the entity. Public building, but yes, yeah. you, there are certain areas where you, you, you can and cannot go. You understand? It's a well, private lot. So, like... The officer tells you that you're not supposed to be here. If you don't have any police business, you don't have any business here. That's then that, yes, you are. You're, you technically won't be trespassing. That, that's not how it works. This is a this is a public space. Oh, sorry. Every, every member okay. of the public has a right to be here to observe what you do, yes. what you do, what you do. Yes, you're, they're, you're they're, they're in the cause of your duties. Yeah, yes, yes. All right. So you cannot trespass. Well, this, me. this is a private lot. You understand? How, how is it? I'm, I'm you, notifying you right now. You keep saying it's this a private is, lot. This is private. Yes. It's how private. can it be private? It's a police department. Right. Okay, there so is there, it's a police station, so the only public access is in front of the building. There is no, there is nothing private about this space. Let me explain it to you. Okay, okay. Building, go ahead. Right? So if you decide not to leave, okay. if we arrest you for the trespassing, then you can explain to the judge that this is a, a private lot and public lot. You can have that argument with the judge, okay? But so, not with us. so you're telling me that if, if, now, if I don't, if I don't leave this space, you will, you will arrest me for trespassing? Is that what you just said? Yes. The bit I don't really understand here is why is the officer saying that this is private property if it's part of the police department then surely the vehicles there and the grounds would be maintained by tax payers money. I mean am I wrong or is there something at play here because the officer is trying to tell the guy that if he doesn't leave in the next part of this video he is going to be arrested for trespassing on that property. So I guess he's kind of disregarded the fact that he is exercising his First Amendment constitutional right. And instead, he is now trying to say that if he doesn't leave, it's going to get messy. Now, notice how there are more than one officer in the corner of the screen. There's like three or four more. They're probably waiting to see if anything happened. Obviously, auditors aren't violent people. So that's something that would never happen. However, I don't know why they're, they're overreacting. That's for sure. Let's keep watching and see what happens next. It's a police department. Right. Okay. There so is there. It's a police station. So the only public access is in front of the building. There is no. There is nothing private okay. about so this space. Let me explain it. That's okay. The on the building, Go ahead. Right? So if you decide not to leave, okay. if we arrest you for the trespassing, then you can explain to the judge that this is a, a private lot and public lot. You can have that argument with the judge. Okay. But so not with us. so you're telling me. That if if, now, if I don't if I don't leave this space, you will you will arrest me for trespassing. Is that what you just said? Yes. Okay. Is that okay for you? That's what you just said. You understand? I well, I am That's telling you. That you understand? Yes. This is not a private space. This is a public. I, this is not the first. This is not the first. Um, do you have a supervisor? I understand. Uh, you're being recorded. As well. Yes. Do you have a supervisor? I am the supervisor. Is anyone you above you? My supervisor. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. He's gonna go get him. Is that him behind you? No. Not okay. Else. Yeah. Can you get your supervisor? Because you're completely wrong. Am I? You're completely wrong. This is a public how do, space. How do, you, how do you understand this? Because first of all, you cannot trespass anyone from a public space unless okay. they've broken the law. I haven't okay. broken the law. All I'm doing is simply observing public employees 
during the course of their duties. The courts have, have established that we can do that. Okay. All right. So if you know the law, right? You understand the law? You I understand, understand some, some, some basic rights. Right? Yes. You understand trespassing? Okay. You understand it, right? I understand trespassing. Okay. But what you well, fail to... i you another warning. Okay? But what you another warning I'm issuing you right now is that you, you can't be on this lot. Okay? But what, what you Otherwise, we're going to lock you up for trespassing. Okay, well, I'm going to speak with your supervisor. I'm going to speak with your supervisor. Apparently, he wants to talk to you. But you're May I speak with you? In the Are you his supervisor? Who? Is he your supervisor? Which one? Which one are you? I, the, the one in the plain clothes? Yeah. Who, who is your supervisor? He's in the building. Okay, well, can anyway. I, I'll wait for him. I'll wait for him. Because I, you're completely wrong, sir. With all due respect, you're completely wrong. This is not the first police station I've been to. I understand that. All right? Yeah. What happened the last time? I wasn't trespassed. Oh, what, what actually, actually, the, the, the commander came and told the, the, the police officers that I had a right to be there. Okay. Because this is a public space. Where, where was this at? This was uh, the one on Pulaski. Uh, I don't know what, what district, yeah, okay. whatever. The one on Pulaski by before yeah. before Lawrence. Yeah. yeah. This one, I'm giving you some time. And, and I've also been to the one right. on, on, Mil no, on, on Milwaukee thing. Avenue. Same some, thing I'm happened. I'm giving you some time. Right okay. Now, okay. All right. So maybe this, this will be an opportunity for you to get educated. Educated. Yes, that members of the public yeah. can be on public property. So what, what is the, what is your main goal right now? Because I I what just told you goal? I am documenting matters of public interest. Why? Right? For what? So what this officer seemed to be trying to say here is that the station slash department itself is publicly accessible, however, only from the front side. He was trying to say that the parking lot itself and the back part of the department is a restricted zone and it's basically staff only well that's pretty that's a very gray area statement because if the cars are maintained and you know paid for with tax dollars then why shouldn't a citizen be allowed to go around and film the upkeep and the condition of these vehicles if he's paid in money to the system then that would make total sense also another thing to point out in these videos is did we the bosses notice any signs saying no restrict you know restricted access only or no filming uh, that's another thing to look for in this situation now i can understand why the officers would point this out saying that the cars and the back area isn't for public access because that's where their equipment and their vehicles are however the auditor isn't really doing anything wrong i'm surprised they didn't try and ask him to get a press pass and maybe apply to do it but instead, they just seem to say, look, if you don't leave, we're going to arrest you. We the bosses. This is the channel linked down below to his video. Up next, we have a video by the channel Long Beach Observer. He is here with his friends doing an audit and uh, they're in a post office. They are performing a First Amendment freedom of press audit. And uh, right now we're looking at some people in this post office who aren't too happy with the filming that's going down by these auditors so what happens is it gets so bad that some of the members of public complain to the um what's holding your hand up really going to achieve here i don't know but um they're, they're basically trying to complain to the postmaster and something really unexpected happens i'm not going to tell you what happens if you've seen this video you'll know what i'm on about it's really really good it's a really really it's a massive plot twist basically i was not expecting the audit to go this way and it's actually super cool what happened so let's get started with this video and see what actually happens along with the reaction of the public and the postmaster let's begin oh and i'll leave a link to long beach observer in the description The post office. Wow. You like it? I really wish you wouldn't do that, buddy. Why is that? Well, too bad. I really wish you wouldn't wear that red hat. Well, you should do the same, buddy. Listen to your own advice. Get out of here. You are minding our business. Sure you are. Have a good day. Have a better day, sir. He's gonna hurt himself with that attitude. Why aren't you kicked out of here? What happened? This is a you public. Can't do this, man, in the post office. This is a public place. This is a public building. You, you can't be filming. Get out of here. This is a public place. They can't kick us out. This is like this is like a public library, sir. Yeah. We have rights we'll find in here. Out. <gasps> Who are you calling, sir? The postmaster. Oh, okay. Please do. You, you'll probably uh. We'll see. You'll probably get everything figured out. We will see. 
Yeah, he's gonna call the post. That's a good guy to call, actually. Postmaster. Looks like he got his number. It's good they worked here for a long time. Oh, they never educated you on poster seven. Hey Gus, you got a film crew over here in your lobby. Oh, folks, nothing I can do about it. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, are you sure? <laughs> since since when? I thought before. Yeah, you're right. Okay, later. I usually watch these post office audits because they are my favorite, but this by far is one of the best things I have ever seen happen. I mean, how on earth did these guys manage to actually get a postmaster that knew the law? Usually, they're really, really bad. They don't know the law, they don't have poster seven up to date or even up anywhere, and they just don't know what they're even talking about. In this instance though, the postmaster really knew what he was talking about. He said to the employee on the phone, it's the first amendment, so they can't really be stopped. Unless they're getting violent or harassing someone or stealing stuff, then they're allowed to just film peacefully stood at the side. It's a publicly accessible post office. I love that and I, I just I love watching the reactions of some of these people where they get so uncomfortable being filmed because it's always the older generation that don't like it. I mean sometimes the young people are creeped out by it but they grew up with technology and iPhones so they know that they can be filmed in public and they can't do anything about it. But holding your face in you know holding your hand in front of your face isn't going to achieve anything. So yeah. Yeah again your own rules and regulations. Hey up next we have a video by Anthony X, one of my favorite auditors. This is a channel that I love watching. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in the description for those of you that aren't already subscribed. In this particular video, Anthony is once again at a post office, but this post office audit isn't as successful as our last one by Long Beach Observer. Instead, we have a rather ignorant employee, in my opinion, who doesn't have any idea what they are talking about. They try and say that filming is not allowed in this post office, it cannot be done, and that it is illegal to do so. So let's take a look at this video, I'm going to react and criticize the behaviors of the people involved in this audit moment. Let's get started. Yeah, I can. Your own rules and regulations, say I can. Yeah, I can show you a picture of it if you'd like to see. I wasn't recording you until you started speaking with me. Uh, well, I'm recording. Yeah, if you don't want to work for the public, don't work for the public, brother. I'm recording right now. Sir, can I, can I show you that your rules and regulations are right on the wall here? You have a poster right there I can show you if you'd like to see it just so we can... No, but you said I couldn't record it first in general. I wasn't recording you. I was just taking a tour of the facility. But when you started, you know, kind of yelling at me, which is very rude, not very Hawaiian-like. You know, I'm going to come in peace, brother. I'm not here to cause trouble or give you a hard time. But um, have, are you, just curious, are you familiar with your rules and regulations? Can I show it to you real quick? Let me show it to you. So you have a poster right on the wall, right over there. It's called Poster 7. It's the rules and regulations governing conduct and postal property. If you zoom in under uh, photography. Okay. And, oops, sorry. Let me show you here real quick. Oops, sorry. So if you read the top here, that's your rules and regulations. And then if you read that, so it talks yeah, about... So you can just take your phone down, please? Yeah, well, I'm just going to grab my phone just so it doesn't uh, get I taken I understand. Could you take your no, phone No, I'm not going to take my phone down until you have your rules I, there. I, I, know, I wasn't even recording you uh, until you okay. yelled at me. Okay, so could you... So do you, have a, do you have a postmaster here, yes, a supervisor? So you, Let me talk to him, please. I'm recording. I love how the auditor actually tried to be understanding and explain to this employee that what he was doing is okay, even based off their own post office policies and regulations. I think the employee didn't understand that. And the employee did look for a bit, but it just seemed like they didn't really care. They took a look at the screen and then just kind of walked off as if to be like, oh, um, I don't know. Because let's be real, if you get a job as a post office employee, you're not really taught about people's rights or you know they don't sit you down and make you read all the policies of the post office you're just there and you're taught basic things like serving customers holding cash and things like that and um dealing with parcels and postage postages and stuff like that so 
yeah i mean it's kind of understandable this reaction is what we usually get at post offices i'll leave a link to anthony's channel in the description silence for the testing areas on next we have surreal cam in the dmv people are taking some tests and uh, he is just walking around exercising his First Amendment constitutional right. Um, I've seen a couple of audits in DMVs. They tend to be really funny. And uh, the people try and say that they need a press pass or they say that it's actually illegal to even be there. The interesting part about this video is there's actually a sheriff present in the building. I don't know if the sheriff is already there when Surreal Cam started filming or if the sheriff's there because of Surreal Cam being there filming. But it means that we get to hear what the sheriff has to say based on the First Amendment and also filming in the DMV. So as usual, I'm going to give my reactions and my criticism to this video. Give my thoughts down below and uh, I'll also leave a link down below as what I was supposed to say to Surreal Cam. So you guys can all go subscribe to his channel if you aren't already. Right, so let's get started and see what happens with Surreal Cam in the DMV. For the testing areas, right? Huh? Oh. oh, yeah, I'm in a public space. Yeah. Taking a test. So, why is that window there? You because can see you through it. No, I know, but if, if I'm in a public space, I can record it if I can see it. Yeah, I know. I'm just letting you know, though, because yeah. it's a state test. What's your name and badge number? Velasquez, you have to Cool. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The glass. Hey, I just told you that you cannot take video in there. Okay? Ma'am, I'm in a public space. I know, but you're videoing where you shouldn't be videoing. They Why is that? Do video. I just told There's you. windows right here. Do you, do you see that they can't do, they can't do that? What, you what see do you mean? What I'm saying? Because we have to make sure that they're not cheating. That's not That's the way the law works. You know how it works. Okay, listen. If to I'm me, in a I'm public not, space. Not, and I, did I say anything? I saw you're telling me I can't record here. You can't record in there while they're in there testing. They're taking a state test. Is that a law on that? They're taking a state test. Okay, I'm not bothering nobody. I, I'm I working. Never, I wasn't I know. seeing anything. But you're, I've seen that you've been already here like 10 yeah. minutes, 15. You're misinformed. Which, okay, I'm just letting you know. You're misinformed I'm on that. I'm just letting you know because I was already told that you just can't be recording like their computers and stuff. That's, That's not illegal though. I'm telling you, this is a state test. I know. That's all I I'm get that. Okay. I'm not here for their own private information or anything like that. I'm just working on a story, and that's it. I get it. It's I not illegal to record through the glass. I know, but what's it behind the glass? What if I have a photographic memory and I can see that? Okay, it's the same cool. thing. I'm, I'm not, listen, I'm not, I know. you know what I mean? I don't come here to give you a hard time. And, and I know, I know you've been here, and that's what happened. Yeah, like, I don't care. but you know, you're like, telling me something that's well, because that bogus right now. Well, you're seeing there is something that's a state mandated test that they have to do. That's all I'm saying. All right. All right. Maybe they should block this and not have a glass. Well, we have that's, to make sure you got to that create the privacy if you guys want it. But we have to make sure that they're not cheating. Okay, but that's that what? I have nothing to do with that. I understand, but I'm just letting you know that. Okay, that's fine, but I could record through the glass. Excuse me. You're a law enforcement officer. You should be aware of the law a little bit about public photography. I don't come to give you a hard time. I'm just saying, listen, anywhere where I'm standing, anywhere that I'm, if I'm in public, I can see it, can't trespass my eyes. Listen to me. You know, just because you're telling me I can't record that doesn't mean I got to listen. I'm working on a story on the whole DMVs, on all the DMVs okay, in Lee cool. County. That's I, it. Did I say anything, though? The only, thing, the only thing I said is that there is legal stuff that is from the state yeah. that can't be shared. That's then it shouldn't be viewed from the okay. public view. Well, it shouldn't. Now. It shouldn't. What Surreal Cam is saying to the sheriff actually makes total sense to me. If you're taking a test that should be private in a lobby that is like next to a lobby that is publicly accessible, then why on earth would you have massive windows that are glass plain and see-through? If the test needs to be private and no one should be seeing it and it shouldn't be filmed, then put tints, get rid of windows, put privacy blinds up, etc. These are all solutions, but instead they got a doorway with no door. They got three or four windows that look about 70 inches wide. I mean, it's stupid. What on earth is this sheriff's point saying that they need privacy? They're in the middle of a publicly accessible building with a few walls with see-through windows at the middle. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, her point is totally irrelevant and Surreal Cam basically just owned her he, he really made her look silly and her argument made no sense whatsoever 
Um, now, I've been sent this audit because apparently it's one of the most shocking audits that's happened in the past couple of years. I don't know how true that's going to be, but apparently the officers in this video say something really, really astounding. Um, here we have a law enforcement center. I don't know if it's like a jail or something or uh, a detention center. And uh, this is by the channel North Georgia Audit. I'll leave a link down below to his channel in the description so you guys can all go subscribe. I'm going to react to what happens here and uh, give my opinions. So I sent this by a subscriber that said they gave me the timestamps of when to react to um, when the officers come out and what actually happens. Apparently they say something regarding the First Amendment that they don't care about it. I don't know how true this is. Again, I haven't seen the video, but if they say something like that, wow. Holy smokes, that's going to be a pretty crazy audit. So let's get started and see what happens. I'm, I mean, you're making contact with me. Yeah, that, if you look up that OCGA 42-5-15, that refers to guns and weapons. It has nothing to do with re recording cell phones or anything else. It, says types of recording and that's the way it doesn't say anything about that. It doesn't say anything I'm about that. We just looked it up. I'm asking you nice. Please put your camera up. Sir. This is out of line. Okay. Hey, Sheriff, and then we got another one in the lobby with one. Sir, this is public property. That does not refer to anything about recordings. That OCGA statute. I've been charged on a prison. I've been charged on a prison for loitering near inmates. And guess what? It got dropped. Are you threatening to violate our rights and arrest us today, sir? Is that what he's threatening? I'm sorry, your name? Sergeant? Amos. Investigator Amos with the sheriff's office. Yes, sir. This is the sheriff. Okay. Calm down. Let me figure out what's going on. You guys are pulling up, threatening us I'm with the rest. Amos, you know. come on now. Stop. Come on. I'm not the one right that's escalating right now. You are. No, I'm, I'm not. going to follow you in. I'm asking you to give me a second and hold on, okay? You want to look at that statue while you're doing this? 42. Well, I want to do it. Let, let me in for a quick second. We're allowed to, sir. I mean, that OCGA section is for... I'm not interested in that. I'm you interested in what the law. we have to do here for the sake and protection of our people oh, protect and the prisons. Oh, protect and video is ridiculous, and I don't care how you air it. It don't matter. It'd be, I, I don't edit very don't much at all, sir. What about this camera up here, video and me? That camera up there is for security. We can do an open records request for that camera. And this is for my security. That camera, this camera is for nosing. At first, when these guys came out to interact with the auditors, they tried to point towards a sign stating some kind of a policy. And um, obviously, North Georgia Audit knows that that doesn't trump the First Amendment. And in this situation, the I believe that the officers are panicking now. They don't really know what to do. Again, I say this in some audits, but I get the vibes that this is the first time they've actually had auditors at this particular location slash building. Why do I think that? Well, based on how they're acting so frantic and scared, they're now trying to run inside and figure out some information and see what, you know, see if they're allowed to uh, trespass them or arrest them or if they need to just let them film. I guess that's a good thing because if they were just grabbing hold of them or pushing them off the property, which trust me, I've seen that before even, then that would be a very bad thing. Um, let's see what they do next because they seem to be trying to get some information as to regards to how to deal with these auditors So I'm excited to see what next step they take We respect the law that's not a law, lawful order, sir. It's not a lawful order. To tell us to stop recording on public property is not a lawful order. You just admitted that that law does not, uh, does not pertain to that. I'm just asking out of the goodness of my heart for you all to please do If he would have got us our open records request, let us put in our open records request, we would have probably been gone before you got here, Sheriff. Sir, I'm just waiting for him to come back. I have put it in. I'm just waiting for him we're absolutely allowed to film while we conduct public don't, business, don't sir. Me okay, well, Sheriff, I'm I can't make you look anything that I'm you don't make yourself look like, sir. First Amendment folks, You're tired of the First Amendment. They above the law. We're not above the law. We're and alongside it, sir. And I'm tired We're alongside of it. Not respecting our preferences here for the security of the people that we're not. Have. We're not a, a threat to your security, sir. It is when you. We absolutely are not a threat to your security. We ask you not. 
We can record every bit of this from, from Google, Google Maps. We can see every bit of your outside. Inside, we can open records requests, your security cameras, at any time we want to, sir. Don't mind if you're standing out in the road and recording, but we respectfully ask that you not come in here to do it. Well, the law says that when we come in here to conduct business, we are allowed to do this, sir. There are a lot of things above the law and beyond the law. I'm asking you like to what? respect. I'm not asking you to well, accord with the re law. Respectfully, I think but we're going to finish our business, sir. Respect my request. Respectfully, sir. This man with the blazer and the tie decided to go down a different route in this audit. First of all, they tried to point out some kind of a policy or penal code or bylaw. Again, not the constitution. Uh, and this was outside here at the beginning. Then when they went inside the lobby area, the auditors tried to get a form, I guess it's some type of FOIA, freedom of information request regarding the building and the goings on inside. Then after that, the man changed up his tone from being all authoritative to then trying to say that from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you nicely, please don't film or, you know, he tried to go to friendly approach, which again, I can't tell if he's being sincere because I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a body language expert, but I found that kind of weird that he switched up from being like, see, you can't film, look at the sign, to then, please guys, from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you nicely here. Like, again, I don't know if he thought that tactic was going to work, but it clearly didn't. Because um, <laughs> the law doesn't care about your feelings. That's just the truth. Anyway, this was the channel North Georgia Audit. This was my reaction to a moment from one of his much larger audits. Please go and subscribe to his channel, link in the description. Also consider subscribing to my channel, Audit Rewind. If this is your first time here, it's an audit reaction channel where I rewind audit moments based on the best parts of them and give my reaction. Please leave a like before you go and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out.